As I'm sure you all would have ascertained, I'm quite middle class, and I'm from the home counties. So I don't have an accent. This is just how things sound when they're pronounced properly. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with being working class <laughs> these days. <laughs> being working class is very much like masturbation. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Of course, it's nothing to be proud of either. <laughs> and both give you calluses on your hands. <laughs> Sting, the popular singer, Sting's often bragging about his eight-hour night sex sessions with his wife, Trudy. Imagine how long he'd be able to keep it up if she was a looker. <laughs> In Japan, they believe that tiger penis improves fertility. But I think, if you really want to get pregnant, you're best off using a man's <laughs> <laughs> My best mate's girlfriend is six months pregnant. They said, you want to feel the baby? <laughs> on reflection, I think they meant on the outside. They say travel broadens the mind. Except with Americans, which tends to widen the <laughs> A lot of people quote the fact that only 10% of Americans have passports. The thing is, they say it like it's a bad thing. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea, I've got nothing against Americans. Just one came up to me after a show a couple of weeks ago and said he thought I was patronising. <laughs> I said, well, I think you'll find that's pronounced patronising. <laughs> it means when you talk down to someone. Don't worry, I'm not being condescending. I'm far too busy thinking about important things. You will understand. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're aware of this. Did you know you're ten times more likely to get mugged in London than you are in New York City? It's because you don't live in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite news story of the last year came from America. I'm sure you all saw this story in the papers or on TV. It was a story about a man in Utah, an American man, who were, he was out rambling in the wilds of Utah, the beautiful desert landscape, and there was a rock fall, and he got his hand trapped underneath a massive boulder, and he had to sever his own hand in order to walk to freedom. Incredible story about human courage and spirit. Did you all see that story? Yeah. Well, I can't believe anyone saw it and didn't ask themselves the question, because they think it does beg the question, would I be able to do that? I've given it quite a lot of thought, and I think, yes, yes, I would be able to do that. What do I care about an American's hand? <laughs> <laughs> if it's life or death, I'll cut his <laughs> head off. <laughs> The other story that sort of tickled me from America, not quite as inspiring, I'll be absolutely honest with you, was the story of an English woman and an American man. This made the papers earlier in the year. They were flying from JFK to London Heathrow, never met each other before, flying in first class. They just knew each other for eight hours, and they were arrested as they came into land at Heathrow. And the reason they were arrested was because the lady was fellating the man. I mean, sucking off. <laughs> yes, as they came into land, the lady was fellating the man. I, myself, prefer a boiled sweet. <laughs> I just can't quite imagine how that happened. <laughs> Presumably, at some point, she turned to him and said, my ears are popping. <laughs> Have you got a boiled sweet? <laughs> and he said, no, no, I haven't, but I've got an idea. <laughs> now, have we got anyone in from around the country? Is there anyone in from the north? Yeah. Oh, quite a few of you. Huh. I ask you, what's the point in having a north-south divide if you're not going to police it? It is a peculiarity of the United Kingdom that people from Liverpool tend to think people from Manchester are a bunch of <laughs> And vice versa, people from Manchester think people from Liverpool are a bunch of <laughs> When will they realise? <laughs> Sorry, I, sh I should apologise, really, because I've used the C word rather a lot so far this evening, and uh, I know a lot of people, especially the ladies, let's be honest, find that a little bit offensive. There is, of course, an alternative to <laughs> I don't mean up the Now, are you all familiar with the phrase, see you next Tuesday? <laughs> see, now, it's the polite English way of saying the C word so as not to cause too much offence. Although, ironically, I can't think of too many situations where you want to call someone a <laughs> you don't want to offend them. <laughs> sort of what I like about it. <laughs>